Welcome to Asheville's Close the Gap Overview. At some point during the day, most of us spend time as a pedestrian or a person who walks with or without a mobility device, such as a wheelchair or a cane. Some of us walk to meet our daily needs, such as shopping or visiting the doctor. As pedestrians, we access transit or we walk to work. Walking is an opportunity for socialization and recreation or exercise and our public rights of way are places where our community gathers. Because a quality pedestrian network is important to all in Asheville, through Close the Gap, the city is updating plans that guides its Greenway Network, ADA Transition Plan, and Pedestrian Plan. We will cover each of these in a bit. Now is a good time to think about these plan updates. A quality pedestrian network is about much more than sidewalks and crosswalks. Asheville has grown and is projected to grow in the future. By 2030, 105,000 people will call Asheville home. That's about 15,000 more people compared to today. As more people live in and visit our city, the more people we have on our streets. If we don't want everyone driving a car, we need a variety of transportation methods to get around, such as walking, biking, or taking the bus. Asheville is a regional employment center many people drive to the city for work every day. A quality pedestrian and greenway network can connect people to jobs and reduce the number of people driving to and from work. Improved mental health is one of Buncombe County's desired health outcomes. Research shows that walking keeps us physically and mentally healthy. Owning a car is expensive. When one does not have to rely on a car, one has more to spend on housing and other household costs. Finally, based on statewide data, we know that there are inequities in our pedestrian network. And we also know that some of Asheville's neighborhoods are disconnected from services. A quality pedestrian and greenway network can improve connection and reduce some of our community's inequities. Asheville needs a guiding plan that we will develop through Close the Gap to move projects from ideas to constructed pathways for all to enjoy. For example, Asheville will soon be constructing a portion of the Swannanoa River Greenway in East Asheville. This project started as an idea in an older Greenway plan. Later, the city refined the idea through a Greenway feasibility study, and the city identified funding through its most recent round of bond funding. Now the project is in the construction planning phase. Without the early planning that will be done in the Close the Gap process, the city would not have been able to advance this project. Connected with project planning is NCDOT's updated Complete Streets Policy. When cities like Asheville have projects in a written plan, NCDOT becomes a stronger funding partner during the project development process. This is a big change from our state's previous Complete Street Policy. Finally, Asheville residents have expressed the need for greater connectivity. Plans such as Living Asheville, Standalone neighborhood plans and other multimodal plans confirm that people want more and better greenways, sidewalks, bikeways, transit service, and services for our elderly and neighbors with disabilities. Close the Gap will help meet this community need. Now that we have talked about why we should close the gap, let's discuss each section of the plan and pieces each will address. Asheville last updated its Greenway Plan in 2013. In this new Greenway plan, we will evaluate the corridors planned in 2013 to determine if they should stay on the map, be amended, or possibly deleted. New connections will also be added. The planning team will develop new design standards and look for ways to implement emerging Greenway connection tools, such as on-street connections as shown in this picture from an on-street connection in Charlotte. We will also be looking at natural surface trails. Please see our Natural Surface Summary for the details. The Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, requires that cities have an ADA transition plan that results in public right-of-ways that are accessible to all. The transition plan's focus is on the city's existing pedestrian network. Using community input, the transition plan will prioritize the corridors that people with disabilities tell us they need to access the most. The plan will include a short and long-term implementation schedule to update facilities along the prioritized corridors. The pedestrian plan will help the city fill gaps where existing infrastructure is absent. Its focus is on new connections. 
The pedestrian plan will also provide policy recommendations and design standards for new sidewalk construction. The plan will also make recommendations for alternative surface treatments and temporary traffic control policies, also known as work zone policies. The Close the Gap story map provides more details about Close the Gap and our current network. Click Call to Action to learn more about getting involved or scroll to the bottom of the story map. There you will find links to our general survey and our transition plan survey, a place to sign up on our mailing list, and contact information if you have additional questions. Thank you for listening and we look forward to your involvement.